What up, those of you who've seen, we got all the action, all the smoke. Before the video start, hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed, notification bell, you notified whenever we drop another banger. Uh, we've been following up with R. Kelly and TMZ, they dropped another video and they got that boy Jerry Springer on here. And so he giving his thoughts on R. Kelly. So the Kells, he say he don't think he gonna get a fair trial. So y'all know he ain't gonna get no fair trial. They gunning at that boy, but hey, we don't know if he deserve it, he deserve it. But we gotta let the courts handle it. But anyway, before we get in the video, now I'm gonna get my little commentary on it. So the boy Jerry Springer, you know he weird, so you know he might have some insight, but he said he think the boy R. Kelly gonna get a fair trial. And so he said his reason is because that boy OJ, you know, he said OJ was uh, found innocent, and even though everybody know that, allegedly that he did it. And so he said on that fact right there, he think Kale's gonna get a fair trial. And so my stance on it is, hell no. Nah. Because the difference is, a lot of black people wanted OJ to be innocent, even though they thought he was guilty. You know, a lot of the black women too, they ain't care about that white lady. <laughs> but anyway, with the Kells it's different. Majority of people who want to see him convicted is a lot of them is black women. And so, you know, that's just my little two cent on it. But I got the beautiful Nisha here. This is a beautiful black woman. And I wanted that y'all get her little insight on what she think. So, so Nisha, do you think that uh, R. Kelly gonna get a fair trial or what? No, I don't. I don't think he's gonna get a fair trial. It's been too much and it's been going on for too long. So it's kind of like, I don't know. I think they're gonna try to play him. They're gonna definitely, he definitely going to jail though for a long time. But I don't think it's gonna be fair. I just uh, feel like it's just a messed up situation. It's been messed up for years, so. We don't have to, have to see. So do you think that he needs to get like help as well? Like maybe go to like a mental institution, get like one of them straight jacket boys, or you think he just need to go to jail? Um, I definitely think he needs help because it's some psychological issues that he has. So he needs rehabilitation for sure. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know like how you like your mind. You know, there's got to be something wrong. Your mind make you want like little girls. We got these fine women around here yeah but you know i hope he you know get help but also you know he gonna well, have he, to well he was also abused as a child so right it's some of that like i said some of that is like mental you know what I'm saying? he trying to pay back what was paid to him you know what i'm saying so that's mm, true we just need help like so uh the whole thing messed up you, you ever hear that uh 16 minute song he made Call, like I did it. No, I never heard that song. But even like the track in the closet series was kind of like just going back and thinking about that little series. It was kind of sick. Like some of the stuff, like genius in a way, but just the storyline of the whole thing is just like crazy. Like how did he come up with all this so sick he, terms and so he's saying he's an spot. evil genius, definitely a mad scientist, definitely. Okay. Definitely. That, 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 that's true. I mean, the music tells that, you know what I'm saying, so. Yeah, he had Most musical geniuses are like nutty though, you know. So you think I'm nutty? Who said you was a musical genius? Bingo! But look, have you ever seen uh, the, the interview he did with GQ? No. You gotta watch that, like he, uh, it's like 45 minutes and they like sing your life or whatever. So pretty much he's singing part of it, but he telling like his life you get like a whole different perspective. Like, I kind of feel sorry for, I like forgot like about all the other stuff, the tape stuff, I was like, dang, that's crazy, but you gotta go check that out. But anyway, so got the uh, lovely Nisha, thank you. So we about to get to the video, and so, so this is Jerry Springer had to tip say. R. Kelly is saying this, this is the latest headline. He's saying that he can't get a fair trial. It's, it's been so in the court of public opinion. No one in Cook County, hasn't judged him already. He will, he will, I'm sure his lawyers will argue that in court and maybe right. try to get a uh, change of venue. But this is always the case when you have very famous people. Remember O.J. Simpson? Yeah. He was found not guilty. And the whole world, or almost the whole world, believed he, he was. was. Yeah. So you, you can get 
a fair trial. You can get 12 juries that say, I have an opinion going in, but I understand now I have to make a decision just based on the evidence that is presented to me. And I'm willing to put everything else aside and make that decision. Sometimes the juries, in many cases, juries are able to do that. That's why we have trials. But you can no longer say, I can't be tried because I'm famous. Right. You, you know, otherwise we'll never have tried. Everyone, social media, everyone's famous now. If everyone you interview starts saying, he's guilty, he's this, he's that.